Hi there, I'm Lorraine proker pew and we're going to be working on our final of three series of the lower limb workout. This workout is um, quite strong. We're looking to work the whole, all of the muscles around the lower limb. Um, we're looking to find some control through the work through the hips, taking some of the stuff we did in level one and two. Um, and we're going to be using the reformer. We're going to be using the rotational discs and the suspension trainer and the magic circles. So there's a little bit of everything in here and there's quite a lot of transitions so we're going to be coming up and down from the reformer quite a bit so um, just working your transitions as we go through. I'm going to get started. We are on. Um, I've got quite a lot of spring on here. I've got one green and two reds right now so I'm just going to lie down onto the carriage and get my legs warm. <laughs> so lying down into your nice easy neutral pelvis, thighs dropping into the sockets of the hips and just feeling the weight of the sacrum onto the carriage. I'm going to go into a bent knee fallout. So I'm going to allow one knee to drop out to the side and then return and then do the other side. So I'm just going to alternate sides here. I like to inhale as the knee goes out and then exhale as it returns. And just take this moment just to bring your focus into your body, feeling the pelvis into the neutral position as you move the ball and socket joint of the hip. So I quite like this exercise in that you've got a neutral pelvis, so you're stabilizing through the pelvis and we're getting a little bit of mobility and control through the ball and socket joint of the hip. That's gonna be my last one. And then just bring one leg in towards the chest and just a little easy compression through the hip and the knee, just nice and comfortable. And my low back may well have uh, released into the carriage there and that's fine. And then I'm going to reset back to my neutral position, leg to tabletop. Just three leg reaches away and control back in again, just firing up your quads as you straighten the knee, feeling nice and long, and again, controlling through the torso. Last one there, land that foot back down. We'll do the same on the other side, pull the knee in towards the chest, a little compression there, hip and knee and then release tabletop and then reaching the leg away. Again, just firing up your quads and again, stabilizing and controlling through the pelvis. One more here. And then landing that heel back down onto the foot bar. I'm gonna take the feet a little bit wider here and we're gonna make like a frog, dropping the knees out and then pivoting on the heels and bringing the knees in. So frog, and then a Charleston, bringing the knees together. So again, just feeling the range of movement through the hips, so a little bit of an inner thigh stretch and taking the feet with the knees. I'm just kind of pivoting on my heels there. I'm gonna make that one my last one. Reset and just walk those feet back so you feel like the heels are lining up with the sit bones. I'm gonna do a bridge now. So we'll roll the pelvis back, push down through those heels, rise up into your bridge position, hold at the top for a moment, and then come on back down one vertebra at a time, hitting the mat, and then you're gonna release into a neutral position. Let's do that again, rolling through the spine. So I'm trying to keep the carriage still here, so there's quite a bit of hamstring work, just keeping the carriage into the stopper moving through the spine, getting a lovely lot of work through the glutes as well as those hamstrings as we're coming up into the bridge. And a release back down again. I'm going for one more here. Peeling through the spine, knees reach over the toes. And then a roll back down again. Releasing to neutral. Take a moment to feel that, and then we're gonna go with the pressing the carriage up and down. So just into our footwork here, easy control through the pelvis, rooted into the heels, into the foot bar, working the quads to push up and control back down again. And I'm just gonna do two more here, really starting to warm the legs and then controlling back in again. I'm gonna come onto the balls of the feet now. I'm gonna keep a little bit of hip distance here. Just press up, stay on the high half toe for a moment, and then we're gonna work the calves, heels reach, and then up onto the toes. I'm gonna to keep that going, just gently working, feeling a stretch through the calf, feeling the work through the calf as you drive up. And just two more here. 
staying on the toes when you get there and then bend the knees and control back in again we're going to go again stay there when you get there and then we're going to do running so one heel drops as the other knee bends and reaches to the sky kind of pedaling through your feet as you're working there just watch you don't bang the heel down feel like you're really controlling the dorsiflexion of the ankle as you work through we've got one more each side and then finish onto the toes bend the knees and a release nice we'll come up into sitting and then we're going to come up into standing and start thinking about those discs so we did this in level one and i'll use the gondola pole here as well just to get us going starting with the gondola pole in front of the discs and I'm going to come back and do that frog and charleston movement. So stepping on the discs, remembering they rotate. So keeping support through the, uh, through the gondola pole. And then I'm just going to bend the knees here and just work those in and out. Controlling through the hips and the knees. I'm trying to keep my knees and my toes lined up together and feel the hip movement there. Nice, and then I'm gonna come back into the center and then come all the way up into standing. And then I'm gonna do a little rotation, uh, a, a kind of combination movement here. So I'm gonna turn the feet out and then bend the knees and then knock them in together and then straighten the knees. Let's do that again, turn out, make like a frog knock the knees in for a Charleston, and then straighten the knees. Keeping that coming, controlling through the hips, really feeling the quads working as well. Good. And then we're gonna reverse. So knock the knees together, turn out and straighten the knees. Knock, turn in, knock them together as you bend, then turn out and straighten. And keep going with that. Once you've got it, bring the flow into that pattern. Feeling the movement through the hips and really controlling on your discs there. Nice, that's gonna be my last one. I'm gonna think about keeping my feet kind of parallel now and I'm just gonna bend the knees and control up. So now I'm really trying to control any movement through the discs. I'm trying to keep them parallel. Nice, nice and lengthen through the spine using the um, onto the pole for support, allowing your bottom to stick out behind you a little bit, just like you would if you're, as you're squatting regular, and then come on back up. Just take a moment while you step off and release. Good. We'll pop the um, gondola pole back again. So I'm just going to work, have a little set of this without holding onto the gondola pole. So as you come on, just being nice and careful, and then control up onto the other side. And let's, we're gonna go straight into our Frogs and Charleston. So we start turning out, bend the knees, control in and straighten. So keep working with this here. Keep hold of the gondola pole if you need it. Otherwise, see if you can go without. And I'm quite like actually with my hands here over my greater trochanter, I can feel them as the hip rotates. Going to reverse that now knock the knees together turn out and then drive up and kind of flowing through if you can feeling the quads working feeling the hips rotating lots of lovely glute work as well this is my last one all the way up and turn and bring those feet parallel and then we're going to go for the squats again so squatting down and controlling up and i'm really just trying to keep all 10 toes facing forwards as i'm working my squat Nice. And we'll do a couple more here. And last one. And then bring it all the way back up again. Nice and carefully step off. So when you step off, because it feels a bit strange, especially the first time you do it. So if that's the first time with your rotational disc, take your time with them as you're working. Great, we're gonna come back down to the reform. I'm gonna keep the springs quite strong. We're gonna go back down, lying on your back. And remember the bridge, so we're going to work that now. So heels are onto the foot bar. We're up into the bridge. I'm going to take it to a slightly different version now. We're going to push the carriage out and let the pelvis drop to the hover. Bend the knees and pick it back up. 
and then roll all the way down through the spine, releasing to neutral. Let's do that again. Roll up into your bridge, push the carriage away, let the pelvis drop to the hover, bend the knees, pick back up again, really feel your glutes, and then roll back down again. And we do one more like this, bridge, press away, pelvis drops, pick it back up, and a rolling back down again, releasing to neutral, here comes the change, bridge, we're going to push away. Now we're going to do three of these. So pull in, a return, pull in, push away. Last one, in, push away, in, hold, and a roll back down again. Let's do two more rounds of that. So roll up into your bridge position. Stay there at the top for a moment. Push the carriage away, pick it back up. Two more of those. Last one, return to the stopper, hold, and roll down through the spine. Nice, let's go one more. Bridge, hold at the top, push away, a return, push away, a return, last one. Really feeling your glutes working, and then rolling all the way back down again. Releasing to neutral, great. Let's take the feet a little wider here, and we're just gonna push up and down into this V position, so into your second position. Again, just working those quads. Couple more here. And then we're gonna add, make our sort of frog and Charleston action again. So we're going to push away turn the feet in so I'm pivoting on my knee on my heels bend the knees to come in and then return out press up pivot return out press up pivot the knees knock together as you return one more in this direction now we're going to keep the knees knocked together do it the other way push away turn out bend knees knock together Push away, the knees are squinting together and then they turn out and control back in again. And you can really get a feeling of working sort of the inner part of the quads there. Fastus medialis, if you want to know. Pushing up, turn out and control back in again. Nice. Give those legs a shake. We're going to come back up into sitting again. And we're going to come up into standing again. I'll just scoot those discs out of the way just for the moment. And we're just gonna practice a little bit of balance work. So holding on into this nice upright posture, shift the weight to one leg, find your center and just float one leg up into a tabletop position and then release back down again and do the other side. Find your center, lifting up. Now you could, if your balance is a bit challenged, use your gondola pole here. I'm gonna go straight for it today. So this is like a chair balance, this leg and your torso makes like a chair shape and then release back down. And we do one more there, lift and hold, finding that balance, good. And then I'm gonna step forward very slightly because I don't wanna hit the reformer. I'm gonna shift forwards a little bit and just take the leg back behind for, a, for an arabesque balance and then control and land and do the other side, shift. There's a slight forward lean as I do that, as I lift the leg out behind me. And I'm gonna do one more each side. Nice. And then we'll go again. Great. And then rest. And then we're gonna put those two together. So we come into a chair balance, hold, reach the leg out behind you, arabesque and land we're going to do that one more time chair balance arabesque hold and land so we're going to try and put that in later on we're back to the reformer again we're going to drop down now on the springs because we're going to do some single leg work so i'm going to take this down to um i'm going to go for two red so I've just dropped that green off. So I'm gonna lie down on the back, bring, we're gonna do a whole combination here. We're gonna bring one leg into your tabletop position, the other foot is onto the foot bar, up onto the high half toe. I'm pressing up and down on that single leg. 
I'm gonna do four of each if I can count. Right, here we go, bicycle, reach away, pull back in again. Nice and strong through the center. This is just like your chair balance, but we're lying down now. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do devil a pay. So we're gonna bend and reach and hold. Here's the full choreography. We tap the foot bar, flex both feet, and then you're gonna bend and reach that leg away again. So bend, reach to the sky, tap the foot bar, flex both feet, bend, reach away. So as you bend, reach, you get a stretch. You control through the abdominals as you tap. Extra stretch as you flex, and then bend, reach away. One more, reach to the sky, a tap, a flex and then bend and reach that leg away again. All right, nice, let's switch and do the other leg, tabletop, pushing up and down. Just keeping this leg nice and still as you carry up and down there. Then bicycle, reaching the free leg away. One more. We take it into devil of pace, so bend, reach to the sky, tap the foot bar, Flex both feet, bend and reach away. So find the stretch, just goes vertical, tap the foot bar, flex both feet, bend, reach away. Two more rounds to the sky, a tap, a flex, a reach. Last one. We're going to go back to leg number one again and we're going to do single heel so connect the heels to the foot bar leg number one tabletop and then we're going to reach it away holding into the quads supporting into the tummy muscles pushing up and down i'm just going to do four feel free to do more if you would prefer i'm going to take this last one here hold and then i'm just going to do an active straight leg raise so i'm just lifting and lowering that leg it's not coming any higher than the level with the other thigh there we go last one and then i'm going to bring that back in again other side so it's really firing up the quads there as i'm doing those straight leg raises long leg pushing up and down coming back in to hold straight leg lift and lower Nice flex foot as well, will tend to fire up the quads a little bit more. Last one there. And then we're gonna bring that leg back down again. Yeah, I can definitely feel those quads have been working. We're coming back up into sitting and then we're gonna come into a standing position. We're just gonna take a few squats and then we're gonna have a play with a few curtsy squats as well. So just legs kind of wide, just dropping the bottom back and then driving back up again. So we're taking a deeper squat now than we were when we were on the rotational discs. Feeling like you're driving up with your quads, so you pull your kneecaps up to your hips rather than forcing through them through the back of the knees. And I like to think I'm giving myself a butt lift as well as I come on up. All right, let's try a curtsy squat. So I'm going to take one leg behind and just do a curtsy. Return and then do the other side. So there's a slight turn out through the hip. The leg comes behind and both knees bend. There's obviously control required as you're doing these. Step and a curtsy, step and a curtsy. I'm just gonna do one more each side. I'm trying to work out whether I'm even or not. <laughs> work the balance as you're controlling there. I think that's gonna do. All right, so we're gonna come back down onto the reformer, but we need the, um, the magic circle. All right, so I'm gonna put this, I think about there, I should be able to pick it up once I'm there. I'm gonna sit down, I'm keeping, I've still got the um, double red spring, so two red springs on. I'm gonna go feet in straps, plus the circle. So let's lie down. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to grab that. And then we're going to grab the uh, straps first. Push up part of the way, feet into the straps. And then we're going to grab the circle and then place it between your ankles, just below your 
medial malleolus. So I'm setting myself here, I'm just holding onto the circle without letting it drop. And then I'm just gonna bend and stretch the legs and get kind of the feel for that. This is quite a nice an ex exercise for riders actually, just working and controlling through the ankles, through the legs and getting that inner thigh work. Nice, so I'm gonna bend, squeeze the circle a little bit, push away, release. Bend, squeeze, press away, release. So bending the knees, squeeze the circle, straight the legs, release the circle and bend the knees. One more round in this direction and then I'm gonna reverse. So I'm gonna push away with the legs straight, I squeeze the circle, keep the squeeze on as I bend the knees and then release it. Reach away, squeeze, bend, release. Reach away, squeeze, bend, release. Last one, reach away, squeeze, bend, release. Reach away and hold. Now just holding the circle between the ankles, just lifting and lowering. So I'm using my abdominals here to support the, um, support the torso into the neutral position and just moving the ball and socket joint of the hips. Those inner thighs are still working, just stopping that circle from dropping. But now let's push down, squeeze the circle, lift, release. Push down, squeeze, lift, release. One more, push down, squeeze, lift, release, reverse. Push away, squeeze, lift, release. Now we've just done that. Squeeze, push away, release, <laughs> lift. That's better. Squeeze, push away, release, lift. One more, squeeze, push away, release, lift. I'm gonna take the circle out just for a moment and take an inner thigh stretch and then return. Place the circle back between the knees. We're gonna do a little beats kind of thing. So back to the knee bend, push the legs away, squeeze the circle, a three, a two, a one, release, bend, do it again. Reach, a squeeze, three, a two, a one, release and bend, keep it coming. Reach, squeeze, three, two, one, release, bend, last one, reach, squeeze, three, two, one, release, and bend. Let's get rid of that circle, you'll be glad of that one now. So I'll pop the circle just down there on the floor. I'm just gonna keep my feet in the straps, give those legs a little shake off, take a stretch. So bring the legs up, take them wide, bring them together and push away. Here comes the change. Legs up, take them wide. I'm gonna hold here and I'm actually gonna grab the ropes with my hands and I'm just gently pulling as I'm trying to drop my sit bones towards the floor. Oh my goodness, that feels like a stretch. <laughs> and then we're gonna come back up into the vertical position. Legs are a little bit separated here. Again, I'm just gently kind of adding weight to the ropes here, almost like I'm holding the uh, straps onto my feet. I'm just gonna add some circles here. Just mobilizing the end of the chain, reverse the circle. Good, and then I'm just gonna hold a little bit of flexion through the feet, dropping the sit bones to the floor. Feeling that lovely stretch. Then I'm gonna come out. So just releasing, bend the knees, find the foot bar, come on off. I'm just gonna drop those down and then we'll come on up into a sitting position. So let's pop the circle off to the side. We won't need that anymore. And we're gonna come up and use the suspension trainer. So I'm going to pop the discs out off to the side for now, but we will use those again later. So here we are, whoops, just grabbing the suspension trainer. So this is hooked against a fixed point up into the wall. I'm gonna take the feet wide, keep the, um, don't let the ropes go slack is what I want to say. So keep a little bit of tension and then we're just gonna bend the knees down to the squat and then come back up again. Nice and easy as we're working through here. Squatting down and up. Good. And we're just gonna do one more there. So then let's try those curtsy squats again. I'm gonna step, tap behind and go again, step, 
at behind. So the nice thing about this is that I can use the suspension trainer just to give me a little assist here as I come up and down. And I'm just really checking in to the alignment as well as I'm working. I'm gonna go one more, coming back into the center. And then we're just gonna go for something a little bit more dynamic. We're gonna work some jump squats. So let's just get back into the squat first off. And actually let's come up and just lift onto the toes and then a land and release. Lift onto the toes and a land and release. So you can stay with that if you prefer, or you can add in to the jumps. Nice and light landing if you can. Three, two, one, ah, and a rest. Nice job. We're just gonna release this down and then we're going to work the rotational discs and the suspension trainer. So let's see if we can line these up in the right position. Sometimes I have to have a little fiddle. So I'm gonna get the suspension trainer here. Good. And I'm gonna try and stand my feet on. Nice. I think I'm too close. So I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. Right, here we go. So it can take a little moment just to get yourself organized with this one. Yeah, that feels okay. I'm still, I'm still too close. So I'm gonna scoot back just a touch more still. And let's work there. All right, so squatting down and then coming up again. All right, nice and easy. So you're trying to keep both or all 10 toes facing forwards on the rotational discs as you work your squats here. Dropping back, and I can drop back a little bit because of the, uh, the suspension trainer, but I've got the challenge of the rotational discs to keep me uh, working through those alignment, uh, alignment muscles through the lower limb. There we go, sorry, too busy focusing on my squats here. Right, let's hold the squat nice and upright. We're just gonna take the arms out to the side and get a little bit organized for another exercise to come. So I'm gonna hold the hands kind of open and wide and just turn the whole body to one side so my legs twist. So I'm going from the train tracks to the tightrope from the train tracks to the tightrope, just getting that rotation thing going on and I'm pushing back into the straps to feel the energy and get that support and it feels quite nice and secure actually. We're gonna go one more. And then return and then nice and carefully coming off. So I'm just gonna put the um, suspension trainer down for a moment and then we'll take one of these discs away. I'll get it completely out of the way. And I think I'm gonna bring this one back. So do you remember the curtsy lunges? Here they come again. So I'm gonna put one foot onto the disc here and then just step behind. Notice that rotation, I've gotta control that and then step out. So same leg keeps working the curtsy. Curtsy, tap curtsy, tap, curtsy, tap, last one, curtsy, tap, nice. Let's just scoot that disc over to the other side so I can work this curtsy there. All right, so coming up, finding that balance, curtsy, tap, curtsy, tap. It is nice, I do feel a little bit more secure with the suspension trainer, but I'm getting the extra work through the upper body as well, which is really nice, making it a bit more of a whole body workout. <laughs> nice. We're gonna come back last one. And up again, great. Now I'm gonna put the disc kind of in the center here. So almost as I'm looking down, my straps are kind of uh, framing the, the disc. And I'm gonna work with both feet on. So stepping on, and just bringing both feet on. Knees and feet pretty much together here. And I'm gonna go drop down into a squat here and then come back up again. Drop down into a squat here and come back up again. 
Again, I'm just letting my arms kind of respond to the movement, just keeping the tension through those ropes. Nice, we're gonna make this one our last one and then come all the way up. All right, do you remember our little twist? We're gonna add that now. So I'm gonna take the hands out to the side, take your time with this one. I'm gonna open the arms up and I'm gonna pivot myself all the way, there it is, around facing the back and then I'm gonna turn back to where I just was and hold. So I'm kind of using the straps here. I'm gonna go the other way now to encourage me around, but I'm controlling through the center as I do. I'm going again and then back around again. And I'm gonna hold, take a squat, return, Good, and then I'm gonna go around and back again. Hold and squat and then the other way. Around and back and squat. And I'm gonna do one more each way like this. Around. Yeah. Pressing into the straps to help me round. And a balance. And a squat. Return. Around again. There it is. And a return. It's kind of an equal pressure and equal control through the abdominals as you work. Squat. And then back up again. Nice. I'm going to step off. We're going to try this. Do you remember the chair balance and the arabesque? We're going to try that now. So actually, we probably want the straps, again, that sense of, I'm kind of looking down, they're kind of framing the um, disc. I'm gonna step on with one leg. So I'm gonna come into a chair balance, holding here, and then I'm gonna just tap that foot behind me and just rotate all the way around, hold here, and I'm gonna do a chair balance there. Land that toe, I'm kind of pivoting around coming all the way around and I'm gonna hold and do a little arabesque. Let's try that again. So pivot around, lift, land and return. So I should say which way I'm going. So I'm lifting my right arm, my right leg lifts, lands, pivot around and return. Right, let's make this a little harder. Right arm lifts, Right leg lifts to a chair, and I'm gonna keep the leg lifted off as I pivot around into the arabesque. Let's do that one more time. Right knee lifts. So there's no landing this time. I'm working really hard through that standing leg. And then release, and we're gonna come off. Right, let's try that on the other leg. So right leg stands on, left leg just comes up into that little chair, and then I'm gonna tap behind left hand lifts to pivot around. I'm gonna come up into that chair position, left toe lands, pivot around that big toe, around your standing leg, good. And then let's try that again, all the way around. Chair, land, pivot, hold, good. Just wanna check Almost felt like my foot wasn't in the middle, but it is. So let's go again. We're gonna work with the balance. So pivoting around, I'm gonna lift that left leg up for the chair balance, pivot all the way around, and reach out for the arabesque. I'm pushing strongly through here. Got one more. Lift the knee, and then control around. This is making me sweat through control. <laughs> rather than lots of power work. Whew, but that was good, well done. So we'll pop the um, rotational, the, sorry, suspension trainer, look, so I can't think anymore. <laughs> the suspension trainer off to one side. We'll take that rotational disc away and we're gonna come into a little stretch here. We're gonna do an elephant um, and a single thigh stretch. So I think what I'm going to do is drop the springs right down to um, a single red and I will take the, I'm going to scoot around right and underneath, take the um, 
platform extender out and just pop that on because I'm going to use it as I come into kneeling and I'm going to take a single thigh stretch here so just pushing away and then controlling back also called Eve's lunge pushing away finding that splits and a return pushing away and a return we've got one more push away and hold and then pull the hips back into the sockets and feel that firing up and a bit of a stretch into the back of the thigh, front thigh, front of the kneeling thigh. Return. I'm scooting the foot all the way on the top. I'm just going to lift up, hug the moon, then take that left hand to this front knee and I'm going to reach back and feel the stretch. There's a little bit of a twist going on here. Then I'm going to bring the hands down. We'll switch and do the other leg. Pressing out and then controlling back. Initiate the press with your abdominals, reaching long through the spine, reaching long through the arms. Even press for an even stretch. So I'm getting a quad stretch on the kneeling thigh, hamstring stretch on the other thigh. Push back and hold. Pull the hips back into the sockets. Feel that lovely length. Feel the connection and the stretch. Return. Scoot the foot just onto that platform extender. Let's hug the moon, tucking the tail. And then I'm going to drop this opposite hand to the front leg, reaching back for the stretch. Nice, we'll land those hands down and then come up into a standing position. Feet parallel, sort of middle-ish of the carriage here, holding onto the foot bar. Keep the breastbone over the foot bar and just carefully move the carriage out and in. Now as best I can, I'm going flat back here, so keeping the spine long, and I'm just getting a sense of stretch through the backs of the thighs as I'm bringing that carriage in. Smiling the sit bones out behind me as I'm drawing it in. I'm going to hold this last one in. I'm going to lift the toes and try and lift the coccyx even more. Take a rest. I'm going to do a three-legged elephant while I'm at it. So I'm going to lift one leg. The foot is flexed and then I'm just going to move the single leg in and out, finding that stretch. I'm trying to keep my pelvis square to the mat. So I talk about my pelvic headlights or you might think about them as your hip points are square to the mat. I'm going to hold in and then lift the leg as high as I possibly can, letting the pelvis twist that time for the stretch. Land the leg, other side, reach that leg back, flex the foot and just pull in. So I'm, with this back foot, I'm imagining I'm reaching it against a wall and I keep pushing it against the wall as I'm pulling the carriage in. I'm getting a lovely hamstring stretch, calf stretch through the standing leg. And then I'm going to hold in towards the stop. I'm going to lift the leg, let the pelvis twist. And now I'm getting an amazing stretch on my inner thigh, standing inner thigh. Release all the way back down again. We're done. Coming up into a standing position. Ooh, take a breath. Find those feet. Hopefully you feel like you've worked your legs and your brain and your coordination and all of that uh, rotational disc work and our reformer work there. Just holding. We'll take some arm circles, so just bring the arms up, out and around. Nice, and one more, up, out and around. Reset standing, feel tall, feel strong, well done. So for those of you that are interested in what I've been wearing today, I am in Tabby Noir. This is a high, low, kind of loose top um, in garnet. The tights are full length tights in lake. And then the toe socks that I'm wearing are in that half toe L style.